Air Jordans are a vastly popular brand of athletic footwear. Some variations of these shoes are very expensive. The most expensive Air Jordans ever made typically include celebrity-collaborated limited edition releases, as well as original releases that are difficult or nearly impossible to find for purchase on today's market. There is a good chance that those who love sneakers either own a pair of Air Jordans or really want to own one. However, not only are these shoes with their iconic namesake some of the world's most expensive, they are also one of America's most recognizable products. Sure, Air Jordans can still be found at your local Foot Locker outlet, but the ones we are talking about here are collector's items with certain individuals intently seeking them out for purchase, while only a lucky few actually have them in their possession. Even fewer are ready to sell them. History of Air Jordans Shoes Before we talk about the shoes themselves and how much some pairs will cost you, let's take a small detour into the history of the infamous Air Jordans. Named after Michael Jordan, one of the greats and one of basketball's most recognizable names, the Air Jordans were not the first sneakers to be tied to a particular basketball superstar. That attribute belongs to Chuck Taylor. When Jordan burst on the scene in the 1980s, his uncanny skills on the court stood out instantly, giving birth to the legend that Michael Jordan would become. Jordan's skill was noticed early on by Nike, a sports industry innovator in their own right, and they took a chance at creating a shoe for the largely unproven player at the time with an endorsement tag of $2.5 million. This was the kind of money reserved for proven superstars, so for Nike to take a chance like this on Jordan in this manner was unprecedented. What is even more notable is that Jordan wore his new line of shoes during his games, violating league rules, which carried a $5,000 per game penalty. Jordan realized, however, that the marketing behind taking this action was priceless. He continued to wear the shoes as Nike ponied up the funds for his fines. By bucking the system and league rules, these actions propelled the Air Jordans to massive popularity, resulting in a shoe that would become synonymous with hip-hop style and basketball. Some fun facts about the Air Jordans shoe brand Nike was not Michael Jordan's first pick of shoe brands to have his shoe developed with. As a longtime fan of Adidas, that would have been his actual preference. But Nike's $2.5 million plus royalties offer was not one that Adidas could come anywhere near beating. The second edition of the Air Jordans was Nike's second shoe ever to not feature their swoosh logo. This, of course, did not hurt their sales numbers and would help Nike cement its popularity in the shoe design world. If you were to somehow acquire an actual pair that Michael Jordan wore to a game, you would find that they are of two different sizes. Jordan wore a size 13 on one foot while wearing a 13.5 on the other. The most famous pair of Air Jordans was dubbed the 11 and designed by Tinker Hatfield. The inspiration for his design was unusual to say the very least. He was inspired by this particular design by seeing a tarp-covered lawnmower. <laughs>